Hello, welcome to the Toke Web Test Tutorial, How Testers Submit Test. My name is Sarah Payne and I am the Training Specialist at Aquatic Informatics. In today's tutorial, we will log into Web Test, find an assembly, enter test details for an RP, view and search unsubmitted and submitted tests, view and download a completed test report, submit a test, view and email receipts, and go over transaction ID and confirmation numbers. We'll start by opening a browser. By now you should have received the utilities web test address as well as a username and password to log in from your local water purveyor. Let's head to my training site. This is my training site and this is where you'd typically log in the utility can put a custom message at the bottom here. I'll log in using a fake tester username and password. Now we're on the main screen. You can see I'm logged in as Judd Bronk with WM McDonough Plumbing. This yellow box is for custom messages for the utility to insert. You'll see these yellow boxes along each screen throughout web test. The utility controls what they put in this area. If I worked for more than one company, then I could choose which company I wanna log in as, but I'm only assigned to WM McDonough Plumbing, so we'll stay with that. So from here, we need to go to add test. Depending on how your utility has configured their web test site, you can search for a device by serial number and house number, or hazard ID number, or meter number. Let's search for device number 95606. From here, I just press locate device. From the verify site profile, I can submit no changes, I can suggest changes and replace device. It also recaps the last test date for this assembly, the last test status, and the next test date. Let's take a look at suggest changes. Fields that are grayed out, I don't have the authority to change, but I can change fields that are clear. You can also choose to replace device. And the same goes, the grayed out fields I cannot change, but I can replace these white fields. Let's confirm and enter results without changes. This is a test data entry screen for an RP, a reduced pressure assembly. The first section is related to initial tests. If this were a final test, I would enter the information down here under the final test area. Let's say this device passed today, that it closed tight at five PSI for check valve one and for check valve two, it also closed tight at one and the relief valve at two. If you had repairs you'd like to enter, you can put that in here. And any details you may have, you could also enter down here. If you have more than one test kit, the option to choose that would be in this drop down menu. And you can also add any comments you'd like here. I'm not going to select these, and I want to show you what kind of error message I would receive if I forget to put a mandatory piece of information in. A red error message would appear before you can save the test and move forward. Let's move forward and save test data. I received this message in red saying you have unsubmitted tests that are over two weeks old. It's just warning me that I have tests that I have yet to submit that are over two weeks old. From here, I can select which test I'd like to submit. I'll choose the one we did today. But before I move forward, I want to show you a couple of things. This is the unsubmitted tab and this is the submitted tab. By pressing the Submitted tab, I can see a history of all the tests I've previously submitted. I can also filter for them on these pieces of information. 
I can choose to say equal to that, not equal, starts with contains or does not contain. And then I would type in that piece of information and press filter. Back to the unsubmitted tab. Before I submit, I wanna show you the print selected test button. By pressing this, a completed test report appears for the device I just submitted a test for. I can choose to print it to PDF, and you can see it downloaded here. And if you scroll to the bottom, you can return to the test data summary page. So I'll select this test once again, and now let's press Submit Selected Tests. And you can see that my transaction has been successfully processed. I have a transaction ID number. I can also print my receipt from this screen. It will look exactly like the screen and you can choose to save as PDF. Every test that was submitted together, in our instance, it was only this one, but if there was more than one, they would share this transaction ID number. There's also a confirmation number. Unlike a transaction ID number, a confirmation number is unique to a single test. And from here, all we need to do is log out. To recap, we went over how to log into WebTest, how to find an assembly, how to enter test details for a reduced pressure assembly, we viewed and searched unsubmitted and submitted tests. We viewed and downloaded completed test reports. We submitted a test and we went over how to view email receipts, as well as transaction ID and confirmation numbers. If you're a tester and you have questions, you should contact your water purveyor. Water purveyors can contact Toke support by email, phone, are logging into our customer support portal. Thank you for your time.